Welcome folks to match 64 of the FFT Arena Losers Bracket. Here in the Netherworld today we have the Frisky Dingo and Vireblaze. Frisky Dingo's team consists of Doomy the Paladin, A Favor the Lancer, Act Like a the Summoner, and Piece of Bacon the Scholar. Meanwhile Vireblaze has Frodo the Bard, Sam the Monk, Aragorn the Paladin, and Legolas the Archer. Good luck to both teams as you square off on map 25 on your first one is Yardo Fort City. Should be quite the match to watch. Let's see how the RNG is feeling today. We have Frisky Dingo in the blue and Vireblaze in the yellow. Archer's going to fly all the way up top to the great sniping perch and get a quick shot off. As the rest of Vireblaze's team is going to head forward. Knight Paladin for Frisky Dingo is going to do haste and regen and move forward as well. Copycat Bard. And Lancer is going to go for quick high potion to get rid of the bulk of the damage from that sniping archer. Summon forward, 340 damage holy onto the monk. Paladin is just going to watch and mourn his fate. As we get a charm from up top, which will be very difficult to get rid of, and it does connect. So Vireblaze is in a bit of trouble from right now. Ninjutsu heal onto the monk who did survive the holy. And the charmed archer is going to fly down for some reason and do cover fire on himself. Very minimal damage but will knock him out of charm. 185 damage smack from the axe. One on the low end of the damage. Sama heal and Vireblaze is still up and running. Winter 262 damage. The monk finally goes down. He does have re-raise. And a quick Grand Cross out of Vireblaze's Paladin, inflicting blind onto the axe wielding Paladin for Frisky Dingo. Summer's going to run forward, go for another Holy. While well, we get a Bio 3, which does not proc undead on either unit. Archer is now down. Monk is up, he's going to go for a quick Chakra. Only 85 healing, and head back. Archer's going to re raise X Potion himself and run back as well. Paladin, who is blinded, is going to hang all the way back and go for more haste and regen rather than go on the offensive. And the bard is going to hang back and heal the entire party. Lancer continues the assault, this time onto the bard. 262 damage, dropping them into critical. Paladin is going to go for a quick speed ruin to inflict slow onto that Lancer, who has been quite annoying so far. Another bio 3. Summoner is going to port back down and go for another holy onto the monk, which will drop him. And the archer, while healed by the attack, was still turned into an undead. So quite unfortunate here for Vireblaze. Pretty decent damage onto the two casters. Monk actually is not dropped. My mistake on that. Quick transfusion to heal up the party. And absorb MP triggers as well. Bard. Killing up everybody but the archer, obviously. And a triple panel spell now being cast out of the Scholar. And Paladin is blocked by the slowed Lancer. Double panel don't act. Does hit both units. So definitely a back and forth match so far. Another 340 damage holy onto that Monk. And an arm aim will not save him in time. Monk heads back. Waiting for Don't Act to wear off. Masamune, Haste and Regen. Lancer's no longer slowed, thankfully. And Monk has now dropped for the second time. Bard joins his friend on the grass. Scholar's going to go for a quick Petrify, only 56% shot. And it misses. We get a double shot Grand Cross. Uh, misses the Lancer, unfortunately, since the Paladin was already blinded. Archer's going to hang back, toss the Phoenix down onto the Bard. Paladin hangs back as well, more haste and regen. He's choosing not to attack while blinded, hoping that somebody's going to pick up the slack. And the Summoner is going to go on the offensive once more. Counter onto the Lancer. He is still running strong with two units in critical. The Shiva should drop them both. And it does. So we're down to one undead... Archer so far, 51% charm, would seal the deal, it misses however, 
Archer's going to hang back, toss more Phoenix Downs. Again, only going after the Bard, who cannot re res anybody and create a chain. So it might not be the best target for him to do so. Another Shiva. Lancer's going to hang back, either onto the Summoner. And once again, it is just the Archer. Scholar's going to head forward, get another Petrify. That's a better choice than Charm. And it does connect, so round one goes to Frisky Dingo. Let's see how round two goes. Large map this time for round two between Frisky Dingo and Vireblaze. It's going to be map 44, Bervenia Free City. Round one went to Frisky Dingo due to heavy offense from the Paladin and the Lancer. And a good undead proc out of the Scholar on a Bio 3. Let's see how round two goes. Everybody's going to hang forward. Hangston Regen. You know the drill by now. And everybody else is going to just hop on forward. Waiting to get in range for doing an attack. Summoner with teleport is going to be very mobile on this map. It could be very useful. As everybody else is slowly but surely making their way forward. Our Mame does hit the summoner, so she is going to have to do a full retreat here in a moment. Ninjutsu, 169 damage, damage split onto the monk. Everybody's going to regen that away. It won't be too big of a deal. 262 damage poke, however, is a big deal. As that archer is going to need some help soon. Haste and regen to get the scholar into the action, who does have very limited mobility. More haste and regen. Summoner hanging back, as predicted. I'm a genius. And a speed ruin onto the Lancer, inflicting slow. So he's slowed and far away from the rest of his team. It's going to be a little bit of an uh, issue for him. Paralyze out of the Scholar will even things up a bit, as there's a don't acted unit on each side now. Archer's going to hang forward. Go for a shot onto that Summoner now that she's defenseless. Not very sporting of him, but that's the name of the game. Bard's going to fly all the way up. Cherry. 171 damage. Wheel damage split it again. Um, being slowed isn't going to help his regening it a whole lot either. Another speed run. Slowed Paladin. He will get rid of that since he is the haster. But it will cost him a turn. 51% Petrify. Summer's going to move to the side a little bit. She should be getting rid of Donax soon. As Petrify does hit, making it a 4 on 3 for the moment. Lancer is going to remain slowed and blocks the shot by the Bard. And he's going to eat a cherry in the face for his trouble. Damage split does help out quite a bit. He would be very close to death if he didn't have that. X smack, X block on the Paladin Excalibur smack. And Donak wears off on the Monk so he can get back into the fight as well. Slow wears off. We get a quick heal out of the summoner, trying to negate the damage that the archer did to her. Like so, so she's fine. And we get an axe smack. 529 damage dropping that paladin. That two-handed axe is very, very deadly. 171, another damage split. Lancer is still alive. Going strong. 37% charm. Might not be the best choice to do there. And just to, to drop the Lancer. So it is a 3 on 2 at the moment in Frisky Dingo's favor. As the monk needs to start getting in range to res people if they're going to come back for Vireblaze. Double pin Cherry is always nice. Damage split a little bit of that away. And Scholar, who cannot res, is going to go for another charm, this time onto the monk. Jinjutsu to drop her into critical. No damage split. And a quick holy onto the monk as well. 340 damage. Counter flood will kill the scholar. So quite fortunate there for Vireblaze. 264 damage. Axe smack, however, is not fortunate. Summoner is going to go on res duty. As the monk is all by himself. And is forced to ninjutsu heal himself in order to head forward to try to help his team out. Scholar's back up. Lancer is on one tick, so he might go down very soon. Not that it matters, the axe will drop him. So congratulations, Frisky Dingo. You live on in purgatory. Vireblaze, thanks for playing.